In this ICT Basics video, I'm going to go over the concept of top-down analysis and why everyday trader should analyze his chart in this way. So whether you're trading ICT or you're trading something else, every day trading system uh, starts with a top-down analysis. So what do I mean by that? We always start our analysis from a higher time frame, usually the weekly chart. Okay, the weekly chart. We start and we look and we see what do we see on the weekly chart. So for example, I have marked out here a weekly fair value gap that is down between uh, 14,420 evens and 14,115 three quarters. Okay, you see I have a weekly fair value gap there. Every week I come, with, come in with an analysis and talk about what I think the market is going to do for that week. Okay, that starts the analysis. We then move on to probably the most important time frame, which is just the daily time frame. The daily time frame, again, you can see that I have a daily fair value gap from the past marked out. I've pretty much decided that I'm, I'm just going to focus on fair value gaps. There's so much you can do with them that that's really all I'm going to use. But you can see that I'm cycling the time frames down. And I have a video on time frame cycling, but I want to specifically go over a high, higher time frame analysis. So, you know, for example, we start, we see, oh, look, we have an open sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency here, and the market traded into it and then started trading lower, right? That would be a top down analysis. We look at where the market has been reaching for. So, if you're just looking at fair value gaps, we'll notice, okay. Here was a daily fair value gap right here. Notice that the market first redelivered it. Okay, rebalanced and rebalanced. So redelivery, trade back through, and then rebalance. Okay, so this became uh, first a fair value gap and then an inverted fair value gap, right? As the market ended up using that fair value gap to take us lower. See that? So that was an inverted fair value gap that ended up, you know, it's going to end up shooting us below sell side liquidity, I believe. So in any event, um, you start your analysis from the weekly chart. You can go all the way up to the monthly, guys, but you start with that higher time frame draw on liquidity, a higher time frame analysis using whatever system that you're using. It could even be indicators or whatever, but you always start from the weekly chart and move down to the daily chart and you keep cycling, you keep cycling down. Okay, now in another video, I'm going to discuss why I'm purely keeping with, I'm going to try a different system and basically just purely keep with fair value gaps and see how I can do. There's, they're very versatile. You can invert them. They can, they can do a lot. So I think I can just stick with fair value gaps and, and uh, hopefully lower the number of executions that I'm using, you know, st stop over trading, et cetera, et cetera. So, Anyways, guys, a higher time frame analysis is where you begin whatever system you're using. You know, I'm using fair value gaps. You mark out your weekly levels, mark out your weekly levels, mark out your daily levels. Think about what the daily chart's going to do. Think about what the weekly chart is going to do, and then cycle your way down through the four hour, down to the hourly, 30 minute, etc. Okay. Your higher time frames have the greatest draw on liquidity. They have a greater draw on the price than the lower time frames. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, right? So you need to focus on your higher time frames. So you start with a top-down analysis, guys. Always start with a top-down analysis. Don't get too bogged down in the one-minute to five-minute chart, although obviously I use those time frames. You can't focus on that. So. In this ICT Basics video, I discuss the concept of a higher time frame analysis. I think in my next video, I'm going to talk about uh, sticking with fair value gaps. Bye-bye.